Metro narcotics investigators will tell you drugs are big business in Las Vegas, trafficking, growing, selling, and it's where the money is going, which has Northern Command so concerned. Inside this high security complex at Peterson Air Force Base in Colorado Springs, Colorado, Northern Command investigators are on the trail of terrorists and drug dealers. Lieutenant Colonel Shelley Stellwagen is one of those doing the investigating. A lot of terrorist operations are funded by drug sales. Um, and the avenues of approach that make it easy to bring drugs into the country would also make it easy for terrorists to bring weapons of mass destruction into the country. And it's the continual threat of attack which drives Northern Command. But America is a big nation, a lot of people, a lot going on. How do they keep on top of it all? Inside Northern Command headquarters, you find this very top secret area. Behind these doors right here is Northern Command's domestic warning center. If Las Vegas were ever to be hit by a terrorist attack, the response plan would be formed behind these doors. The first thing we, we look to, to is prioritizing the threats. Captain David Jackson is in charge of the center. This is the first time it has been seen on television outside of Colorado. TV monitors are set to the 24-hour news channels while radar systems track aircraft of concern. If terrorists hit Las Vegas, this center would be in touch with Metro in less than a minute. After that... We'll get a report from the Department of Homeland Security of a potential security situation which could quickly escalate to either a situation where military assistance is needed. That determination would be made in this room, with Northern Command giving orders to the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Coast Guard. Lieutenant Colonel Shelley Stellwagen would be on hand as well. For her, this job is all about 9-11, and it's personal. Because I lost eight friends in the attack on the Pentagon, and if I can come to work and do something that keeps somebody else from losing a friend, a mother, a father, a brother, I'm going to do that. If you ask anyone within Northern Command if they have the weight of the world on their shoulders, they'll tell you yes. In the next breath, they'll say someone has to keep America's city safe, and they're the ones up to the challenge. In Colorado Springs, Colorado, Brian Allen, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.